Hello and welcome to Med Simplified. In this video, we will discuss about fungal infection of the nails known as tinea ungium or onychomycosis. Toenails or fingernails both can be affected but toenail infection is more common. We will talk about the fungi that cause this infection, how you get infected and how you can prevent such infections. And in the end, we will also discuss how to treat the fungal infections of the nails. Hi, I am Dr. Omar Malik and let's begin. Onychomycosis or tinea ungium is very common and it is estimated that about 7-10% to of adults suffer from these infections. Although these infections are generally harmless and do not cause any serious problems, but they can cause a decrease in quality of life and self-confidence as these can distort the nails giving them a very ugly appearance. Fungal nail infections can cause the nails to become discolored, thick and more likely to crack and break. That is why it is important to treat them at an early stage because if not treated in the early stages it becomes very difficult to manage as the topical drugs that are used for the treatment of normal infections of the skin cannot penetrate the nail. Special types of medicines are used for advanced onychomycosis which we will discuss later in this video. Now let's first talk about the fungi that cause these fungal infections of the nails and how you get infected. These fungal nail infections occur from the overgrowth of fungi in, under or on the nail. Fungi thrive in warm, moist environments so this type of environment can cause them to naturally overpopulate. The same fungi that cause jaw itch, athlete's foot and ringworm can cause nail infections. These belong to a group of fungi that is known as dermatophytes. Trichophyton rubrum it is the most common dermatophyte that is involved in onychomycosis. Other dermatophytes that may be involved are Trichophyton interdigital, Epidermophyton, Trichophyton voilatium, and Microsporum. Fungi that are present in or on your body can cause these nail infections. If you come in contact with someone else who has fungal infections, you may contract it as well. You can also get these infections if you walk barefooted excessively or come in contact with soil or water often. You are more likely to develop a fungal nail infection if you have diabetes or aged above 65, if you have a heart disease that causes poor circulation, if you swim in a public swimming pool. You are also more likely to develop fungal nail infections if you have a nail injury or have a skin injury around the nail, if you have moist fingers or toes for an extended time, if you have a weakened immune system or if you wear closed tight shoes such as tennis shoes or boots for extended periods of time. Now let's talk about how onychomycosis presents and what symptoms you can develop. A fungal infection of the nail may affect only a part of the nail, the entire nail or several nails. Common signs of a fungal nail infection include a distorted nail that may lift off from the nail bed, an odor coming from the infected nail, brittle or thickened nail, you can also develop a dark colored nail caused by debris building up under your nail. Nail fungal infection usually begins as a white or yellow spot under the tip of your fingernail or toenail. As the fungal infection goes deeper, nail fungus may cause your nail to discolor, thicken and crumble at the edge and it can affect several nails. If you visit a dermatologist, they can confirm the diagnosis by performing a few simple tests. Nail clippings or scrapings are taken and are observed under the microscope. If fungi are detected, then the diagnosis can be confirmed. Also, a culture can be done for detecting the fungi. Now let's look at how to treat these fungal infections of the nails. The mainstay of treatment are antifungal drugs either taken orally or applied directly on the nails. The treatment of fungal infections of the nails usually takes a couple of months or maybe even up to an year because it is very hard for these antifungal drugs to penetrate the nail plate. These antifungals include drugs like itraconazole, ephenaconazole, terbinafine, cyclopyroxolamine and amorolfine. If you only have a superficial or mild infection of the nails which looks something like this, you can only apply the topical drugs like antifungal creams, lotions or lacquers and skip oral antifungal medicines. But if you have an extensive involvement of the nails or if your nails look something like this, you need to take oral antifungal medicines. Now nail paints containing cyclopyroxolamine and amorolfine are most commonly used as the first line of treatment. Cyclopyrox comes as a solution to apply to the nails and skin immediately surrounding the nails. 
इट इज यूजली अप्लाइड वंस डेली यूजली अराउंड बेड टाइम सिक्लोपिरॉक्स टॉपिकल सोल्यूशन विल वर्क बेस्ट इफ यू ट्रिम योर नेल्स रेगुलरली ड्यूरिंग योर ट्रीटमेंट यू शुड रिमूव ऑल लूज नेल और नेल मटीरियल यूजिंग अ नेल क्लिपर और नेल फाइल बिफोर यू बिगिन ट्रीटमेंट एंड एवरी वीक ड्यूरिंग योर ट्रीटमेंट Only apply cyclopirox topical solution to your nails and the skin under and around your nails. Be careful not to get the solution on any other areas of the skin or parts of the body, especially in or near your eyes, nose and mouth. The most important point to remember during this treatment is to continue using this nail paint for at least 6 months to 1 year to have a complete cure and prevent recurrences. Amorolfine nail paint is also used in a similar way and duration but studies have shown that cyclopirox olamine is more effective than amorolfine but the results can vary depending upon the patient Afinaconazole a new antifungal drug is an emerging therapy for the topical treatment of onychomycosis it comes in a 10% solution that can penetrate easily through the nail plate and even through nail polish For a complete cure 8 to 12 months of daily application of this solution is recommended. So these were some effective topical drugs for the fungal nail infection of the nails. Now if you have multiple nail involvement or if your nails look something like this you need to take oral antifungal medicines. Oral therapies have high cure rates for onychomycosis. The most commonly used oral drugs for the treatment of onychomycosis are grisofulvin, dabinafen, etraconazole and ketoconazole dabinafen in the dosage of 250 mg per day is taken daily for 8 weeks for fingernail fungus and 12 weeks for toenail fungus etraconazole is considered to be the most effective oral antifungal drug for the treatment of nail fungal infections the dosage of etraconazole is 200 mg once daily taken continuously for 6 to 12 weeks etraconazole is also prescribed in pulse doses Pulse treatment consists of 200 mg taken two times in a day for one week per month and this is continued for 2 to 3 months for fingernails and 3 to 4 months for toenails. Please note that I cannot prescribe these oral antifungal drugs over a video because they can also cause side effects. So it is always advised that you consult a dermatologist or a physician if you want to start these medicines. Side effects of these medicines include headache, diarrhea, skin rash or elevated liver enzymes which are important to monitor now fungal infections of the nails are also associated with fungal infections of feet also known as tinea pedis and fungal infection that occurs between the toes known as athlete's foot i am going to make separate videos about these topics so make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified so friends this was all about fungal infection of the nails i hope you find the video helpful Make sure to share this video with your friends, family or anyone you know who is having this condition. You can support us by joining our channel here on YouTube or becoming a member of our Patreon page where you get Patreon only exclusive features. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.